Hi everyone, and welcome to my special combat guide featuring the Great Axe. I know I have not done one of these for quite some time, but I have finally taken the time to actually play with the weapon and complete other projects that took a lot of investment. I do not usually do this, but I highly encourage you take a look at this video. If you really like Outward, you will probably enjoy it. Now back to the Great Axe. This weapon used to be the greatest melee weapon of the game back when it was released. The most powerful builds at the time were mostly using this weapon type. But since then, the Great Axe has seen some nerfs that have allowed other weapons to take the spotlight. For it is clearly not as dominant as it used to be, it is still a very powerful weapon type and though I am not generally fond of axes in games in general, I will admit that I had my fun playing with it. The Great Axe is THE burst weapon of Outward, capable of doing insane amount of damage in a very short window of time. That is due to its great damage, but also to its very good combos that have a lot of forward momentum and chain hits at an unmatched pace for a weapon this size. Let's get over the combos, so you can see what this means in practice. 3 basic hits, 1 basic hit and 1 special for 2 fast hits after the first one. 2 basic hits and 1 special for a 4 hit devastating combo and 1 special for 2 quick hits. As you can see, the number of times you can chain hit an enemy with these combos is quite impressive and you can understand how fast the enemy's health bar can drop with these. That being said, there is a pretty big downside to all of this, as the stamina cost of using a great axe is the greatest among all weapon types. This is what the nerfing was about. Using a Great Axe demand a careful and calculated use of stamina, especially against enemies you cannot kill in one combo. In the early game, a simple Great Axe can destroy every enemy you encounter, but when facing endgame bosses, being careful with your exhaustion is the core of the gameplay of this weapon. To be fair, it is the case for all melee weapons, but I have found that it is even more important for the Great Axe. Using stamina cost reduction gear is especially useful when it comes to the Great Axe, and I would not recommend using heavy armor with it, though you still can if you feel like it. Another thing is that the Great Axe does not have a big area coverage, as its swings are mostly forward oriented. That means that the gameplay of this weapon is mostly about bursting targets one by one, as you might have a hard time when trying to kill multiple enemies. This gameplay type is emphasized by the Great Axe's special skill, Execution. Execution is a brutal strike that does increased damage on enemies that have been knocked down on the ground. As the Great Axe combos generally do a lot of impact damage too, you generally use it last after hitting the enemy enough in order to finish them off, increasing the burst potential of the weapon. As always, this skill can be obtained from Burak by equipping the Great Axe. You can find one next to Riss's house. It can also be purchased later from Sagad in Berg's Inn. Let me now demonstrate a bit of gameplay, so I can illustrate all that I have just explained. Let's end this video with a quick showcase of my favorite Great Axes. Ok, I cannot talk about Great Axes without mentioning the World Edge Great Axe. It used to be with a Tyrannosaur Great Axe at the core of a lot of Outward's first real builds, and it is the first unique weapon I collected in my first playthrough. I just think it looks good and is actually a very decent weapon. You can get this one by defeating the unique green Hive Lord in the Hive Dungeon in Ermaka Forest. As someone who studied science a bit, I find the Kelvin Great Axe to be quite a funny joke. It is a unique boss weapon and thus pretty hard to get. It also drops your body temperature, so it must be used with some cold protecting gear. That being said, it looks awesome, does good damage and is still a pretty interesting choice overall. Great name, Nine Dots. As in a lot of my videos, I will end with a horror Great Axe. 
Horror weapons are just strong overall and can also be crafted with components for the first region only. If you want a small guide on how to get horror weapons without leaving the Chersonese region, just let me know and I will think about it. This is the end of this video. I will probably release a Great Axe build very soon and I hope to actually finish this weapon guide series. I am sorry it took so much time to deliver this one. I only have two more weapons to cover to finish this series and hope it will not take too much time. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to subscribe, especially if you enjoy artwork content. I'll see you again. Bye.